Hi, Mark Reedy here. Just wanted to go over how to add a driver to driver history on a piece of equipment. Um, you have to make sure that they're in their personnel file set up as a driver in, uh, in there. And so if we click on driver history here, double click in this field down here at the bottom. And uh, you'll see here if I try to choose a driver number, they're not listed in here. There's no drivers listed. Um, we could add drivers on the fly if um, if we know that they're not in the personnel file. But in this case, we know the driver we're looking for is in the personnel file. So I'm just going to go ahead and save and close this. Go up to Forms and then Personnel. And then we're going to choose Barney. And we're going to say he is a driver. And we're going to uncheck the fleet technician. We'll click Close. And now we're going to double click in the driver history area. And you can see that Barney shows up now. And then you would just put a beginning date of when uh, Barney started on the piece of equipment. And you can just leave it open if he's still on it. And we'll just say save and close. And now you can see that Barney has been added as the driver history uh, to the driver history field for this piece of equipment. And by the same token, um, if you're adding work orders, labor to work orders and we go over here to change it to employee you see we got Dave Wilson uh, listed in there twice and so that would probably need to be cleaned up but um, we said we wanted to have uh, a different person as a technician added to a work order and we know he's in the uh, personnel file but um, but he's not showing up in this drop down list. So if I click on uh, save and close, cancel and close out of that, go back up here to forms and then personnel. And then we're going to say Jack Jones. And we're going to add him as a technician. Click on close. And then go back over here to this work order. Go to labor completed, add labor, employee and you can see Jack Jones is available now. Save and close. The reason that didn't work is because whenever you're adding labor to a work order you always have to have the units or hours spent on that labor and the cost and a description. Save and close and now you can see that labor has been added to the work order. So uh, hopefully that's helpful for you, and thanks a lot. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.